Hey, this is Ray Capo from Shelter. I'm James Morris. I'm tall. I'm from Downset. <laughs> That's why we're all sitting, because he's very tall and we're very short. What's up? This is Purcell. I'm from Shelter. I play guitar. And today, uh, me and Purcell are going to host the show, and we're going to spe specially feature the Downset video. Oh. And we're here at, at the Cult in somewhere in Germany. Orangeburg, yeah, actually. Orangeburg. For the uh, Big Visions party that's coming up tonight. Both bands are going to be playing live, and it's going to be real cool. It's going to be a... And these are our old time. friends, actually, from the States, so... That's right. It's a pleasure to meet up them, with them in the middle of Germany. That's right. Um, first up is our own video. First up is Shelter. <laughs> Here we go. All right, that was down set. Great video, guys. Great video. Thanks, guys. Okay, <laughs> next up, more punk rock. The Clash with London Calling. One of our favorites. Back with Shelter and Downset at the Visions party in somewhere in Germany. Arnsberg. Arnsberg. Yeah. And um, let's see what he went. We're gonna play Echo Belly next. One of my favorite bands uh, presently. If if they if they're listening, um, please put me on your guest list next time uh, we're in London. And after that video, live stuff from Shelter, so stay tuned. This is called The World. Can't imagine when the world without me. Bye. You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? Because of this I'm suffering Along the ball My universe can't be wrong Those opposed Just move along Cross my path You'll be gone Come on, come on, come on Come on Everything Everything Will I ever die It was asking out of through your eyes It was asking out of through your eyes I'll find we got different minds Never two of a kind Bring it back down to size In my universe it can't be wrong Those opposed just move along Cross my path, you'll be gone Come on, come on, come on Living a world where I'm the center of it all Staying so small That was the beginning Downfall, yeah That was the beginning of a downfall Empathy 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 yeah. Oh, live in a world where I'm the center of it all. Everyone else seems so small. That was the beginning of my downfall. What my downfall? I see through your lens, friend. I'm gonna break. If I don't bend, it's too late to make a man. Die erste Visions Party kam im Oktober 1993 
Wir haben seinerzeit angekündigt, dass wir eine Party veranstalten für 10 Mark Eintritt und mit Gauklern und Geschenken an der Kasse und so weiter und so fort, was auch alles realisiert werden konnte. Des Weiteren sollte noch eine große, bekannte Überraschungsband spielen, die seinerzeit eigentlich die Freaky Fucking Widows sein sollten. Und äh, der Laden war proppe voll, da waren 1600 Leute, das beste Ergebnis, was wir hier erzielt haben in dieser Hinsicht. Und äh, das Problem war bloß, dass die Freaky Fucking Widows einen Tag vor der Show absagen mussten, weil der Sänger Durchfall hatte. Entsprechend haben wir kurzfristig und schnell eine neue Band besorgt und das waren dann Mingstool, die kurz vor Veröffentlichung des ersten Albums waren und total unbekannt waren. Und die durften dann vor 1600 Leuten auftreten und haben den Saal innerhalb von 20 Minuten leer gespielt. Wir haben daraufhin im Kult, ich weiß es nicht genau, ca. 20 Veranstaltungen gemacht in dieser Hinsicht. Die waren alle sehr gut besucht, das schlechteste war glaube ich mit 800 Leuten. Haben das Konzept sozusagen beibehalten, die Bands nie großartig angekündigt, immer versucht das Ganze über Mund-zu-Mund-Propaganda zu regeln. Das ist auch immer sehr gut aufgegangen, weil wie gesagt, der Laden war halt immer voll. Und äh, wir haben uns dann irgendwann dazu entschlossen, das Ganze mal bundesweit zu machen, weil dann halt auch Leserbriefe kamen zur Redaktion und zum Verlag dass die Leute halt auch in Süddeutschland oder in Norddeutschland eine Visions Party machen wollen oder haben möchten oder wie auch immer. Und äh, sofern haben wir dann eine 20 Dates umfassende Tour gemacht durch Deutschland und die war auch eigentlich fast von vorne bis hinten mit so ein paar Ausnahmen gut besucht. Back with Shelter and Downset at the Ausberg Visions party. What's the next video, Purcell? Next video is one of the coolest bands in the world, Devo. Made me a punk, made you a punk. The day my baby gave me a surprise. What a game, man, what a game. What do you think we do every uh, time we pull up to a show? This is the Shelter vs. Downset chess match. But unfortunately, James from Downset has to leave now because they got to play. Oh. All right, live Downset. Yeah, Downset are going to play something new from their new album, Do We Speak a Dead Language? Check out this band. They're one of our favorites. Dead language is just basically questioning, you know, what, what the fuck are we doing this for, you know? Like, what's really going on, you know? We're just another fucking era in time, you know? You know, like, are we just another era in time where people are just not gonna care about, like, what we say anymore, you know? You know, a lot of these, it seems like a lot of these kids out here in Europe are, like, like trying to look for some, like, like icon or, like, some, like, some like superhero or something, you know, like they make these like superhero icons out of these people who are in these bands and it's, it's not what it's about, dude, you know, it should be, it should be about, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell everybody what they should do, you know, but it's like music as a language is a very important medium. It's music and painting, actual art is like the two most inter, like international forms of communication other than literature, which is like through books and stuff, you know. Um, so basically what I'm saying, what we're saying is do we speak a dead language? Is like, does the music even really matter anymore? Does it have any, like, cultural significance? It doesn't seem like it's like it's work that it has that like meaning anymore. You know, people are just coming to the shows, supporting the bullshit tobacco industry, smoking like fucking cigarettes, people drinking, you know, supporting the alcohol industry, and 
a lot of these, a lot of these promoters and a lot of these record labels that we work with don't give a fuck about anything except making a dollar, anyways. You know, so it seems like a, as as a whole, like it's like you, you're losing its its um it's losing its depth and its importance. You know. Gone forward musically, I think a little bit, a little more. We got a little more constructive with uh, with, with the music. It's still heavy. It's still emotional. Um, we didn't really, we didn't really get together and like plan all this, all this fancy like stuff to like, you know, to make all this music. Whatever came out, came out. Whatever we pretty much liked, we liked. You know, we put together and what we felt we wanted to use, we used. And um, you know that's basically the whole con like the concept behind the music. Lyrically, the first the first album we did it was more it had more uh, more of a political basis to it, more of a political um, perimeter. But now on this album, the Do We Speak a Dead Language album basically is more uh, more inner, more personal. fundraisers in America, you know, you know, people talk about, like, they, you know, people talk about, like, how they give a fuck about people, you know, and how they care about, you know, these, these fucking savior icons, like, I care about the world and shit, but you have to physically manifest your goodwill, you know, you know, you have to constructively manifest your goodwill, and for us, the, the last time, one of the last times out here, I was out here, I was talking to a, a, a woman from our label. Her name is Jana, and I think she's from uh, Berlin. I'm not really too sure. But, um, but what we did is, I had the idea of um, just getting, raising some food for youth hostels or orphanages. So what we did is that we offered the people who support our music um, two live tracks with um, dates and information on our next tour. 
and uh, you bring two items of food in and we give you those things and we take the food and we give them to designated youth hostels or orphanages and um, we feed people who need food, man. Who brought some, who brought some food for the Food for Fun campaign? The fucking clubs, they didn't know what to do with all the food they were getting. They were like, what the fuck, you know, we got this little box out here, you know, little box is not good enough. You need 10 boxes now, you know, which is, that's only, so it shows to me, honestly, honestly, that shows to me that a lot of the, a lot of the German support bases that we have for Downset is really listening to what we're saying, man. And I would really like to thank you guys for bringing that food, man. We, we did what we could with it, and it makes me feel good to, to see that a lot of people are really listening to what we're saying, man. I really appreciate it. This is not even our real, the real tour for this album. This is like kind of like an opening up tour, you know, kind of like we're gonna do the real tour I think, in a couple of months, like in September, I think. And um, the the reaction has been good, man. You know, I have nothing. If for me, my I have pretty limited expectations. Like if I get, you know, a hundred people to come to the show a night, you know, that's good enough for me. But when you have like a thousand people showing up. You have like 800, 500, you know, 400, you know, that makes uh, that makes the issue a little more brighter, you know? So, the, the Do We Speak a Dead Language album is doing pretty good right now. Anger, hostility towards the opposition. 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 Anger, hostility towards the opposition.
what's up? This is Ray and Purcell from... The Visions Party, somewhere in Germany. You were supposed to say from Shelter. Oh. Okay, but anyway, but we are at the Visions Party. And uh, let's see, we're having a great tour. This is the second to last day. Tomorrow we play with the yep. Pistols in Cypress Hill. And then we go home, back to America to work on a new video. Civilized Man video. And then we come oh. back, I think, to Europe in... September or something like that. Something like that. Civilized so, Man is going to be a pro-vegetarian video, so and, look out for it. And uh, let's see what else is happening. Up next. Up next? The oh, the Go-Go's. No, we're going to play Life of Agony. We were going to play the Go-Go's. We chose Life <laughs> of Agony instead because you know why? We're from Brooklyn and so are they. <laughs> so here's Life of Agony, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? That was Sugar Ray. Those are our friends from L.A. And what's up next? Um, we're leaving. The show's over. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. This is Shelter and Downset hosting the show tonight. Peace we're going to play some more live Shelter before we go. Thanks, everybody. Peace out. Bye. 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 Punks are never cool and we didn't care anyway Yeah, even in the scene It's cool to be mean Walk the other way The other way Rebels from birth This world had no worth Then you went astray One day I don't think it's right They gave up the fight They walked away We had dreams, schemes, they laughed about and we didn't care anyway Feel hurt and confused, I think of you Or do you say my friend, is it too late? Stayed up all night, talked about life Seems to sober the hostess Now side by side, I don't know why you're gonna what? Get a shake. We're gonna make that change. We're gonna set this world with a fire. Happen to your desire. How did you think that I would be up? You think I was for real? How much of this letter?